Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We are on February 8th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to a world update looking at space weather, earthquakes, world weather, and among other things. Starting out here looking at the sun, the last 48 hours of imagery, you can see across the north there, a plasma filament ripping away, not earth directed. We also have a incoming coronal hole and behind the coronal hole is an incoming sunspot creeping around southwest limb here. Large plasma filament tornado erupting from the coronal hole. Look at that large plasma. Still a very quiet sun. This is the first sunspot we've seen in a couple weeks only dealing with the coronal holes. The two that were outgoing and now southern region coronal hole building, but that's pretty much it. Now, this is our magnetosphere and we look at this many times. Now, I haven't seen it act the way it has in the last couple days. And a lot of people are reporting magnetic anomalies across the planet. Look at that swirl behind our planet. Look at all that incoming action from behind our planet. It's very interesting indeed. I would really like to know what's going on here because I haven't seen our magnetosphere act like that yet. The way it swirled almost creating a tornado vortex. See that? It spun around and around. And that is now as we are dealing with the Mercury retrograde and a lot of magnetic anomalies, a lot of earthquakes have increased over the last couple of days. And when I come, when I'm talking about magnetic anomalies, I'm talking about how it affects our planet, our planet's atmosphere and the weather that is happening on it. But just look at these models. These are solar winds that were, these were the uh, pretty much 400 kilometer per second winds, so just above average solar winds. So nothing too crazy. But when you see all this crazy action behind the planet, our planet Earth makes you wonder what is affecting the other side. And throughout history, scriptures, Bible, Humanity has talked about a second sun. So is that a possibility that we are being affected by a second sun? Most solar systems in the universe, in our galaxy, have two suns. So what is creating the South Atlantic anomaly? Who knows? What is creating the crazy currents happening across the planet right now? Is it just the grand solar minimum or is there more to it? But looking at these extreme cold temperatures that are now reaching as far down as Texas, and we're looking at dangerously cold temperatures through Manitoba, looking at the forecast models of these winds and cold temperatures, that are going to be invading across North America are, are a bit concerning. I mean, yes, it is winter. February should be freezing. But as far south as Texas, parts of South Dakota, North Dakota could see minus double digits Celsius 
So talking minus 10, minus 15 Fahrenheit. Upper level winds are so chaotic right now. And that's what we need to be focusing on because what happens up there affects what happens on surface level. So we've got a very strong split vortex right now. And pretty much the center of the North Pole, we've got the two large low pressure systems fueling down the cold temperatures. But not only that, they're reaching equatorial, equatorial regions, especially in parts of, like South America, Central America. Is that due to the South Atlantic anomaly that is happening right now? Or is it due just to the grand solar minimum and the coming mini ice age? I wanted to show you here, these are sulfur emissions right now. SO2, volcanic emissions. Here we're looking at sea surface temperatures. 28 degrees in parts of Guatemala where all of these volcanoes are popping off. Lots of hot spots along the, sen along the equator. But colder temperatures are now really starting to move down into the Pacific. And soon they will start to invade the Atlantic. Very strong upper level winds and very cold temperatures. And I think that is due to our collapsed magnetosphere, which is due to this low solar radiance during the grand solar minimum. Around the planet right now, we're seeing the intertropical convergence. So extreme cold temperatures from the North and South Pole mixing with equatorial moisture, which creates very chaotic events, extreme weather, instant hurricanes, Let's have a look at our Schumann residence. Look at that. That is a very hefty spike, a power of 56, sorry, 59, amplitude 43, a power of 9.8. Very excitable since the Mercury retrograde has started. And look at, look at the earthquakes for the last 24 hours. Puerto Rico is a rocking right now. As well, South America, Peru there, 5.0, 4.7, Panama, 4.1 there, Argentina, 4.7, South of Africa, as well, 4.2, India, Taiwan seeing a uh, 5.6, Japan, 5.1, as well, the Philippines, St. Teresa, 5.7 there, Papua New Guinea. 4.9, and that is all after this very deep 628 kilometer depth, 4.7 in Fiji. And I put out a warning to people in the live streams this morning, watch for a large earthquake. Looking across the North American plate, that is pretty active as well. Let's just have a look at the last three days across North America. Many earthquakes stretching across from the New Madrid up into the Cascades. Looking at the last 36 hours, or sorry, you know, 72 hours, because I have not posted in two days. I apologize for that. I've been very busy. Looking here at the last seven days for earthquakes, and we're seeing a lot of recent activity since the Mercury retrograde started. I know that's the third time I've mentioned it, but it's very important because it does increase earthquakes around the world. Watch for those regions over the next couple days. I know there's a lot to cover here, and I kind of spit it up there. I hope you're all still with me. Looking here at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, starting Calgary, Alberta. And yes, very cold. Minus 29, minus 30 without the wind chill. Later in the forecast, watch for along the convergence line of the high-pressure ridge polar vortex that is really setting in. Watch for snow to fall all across um, upper northwest United States and as well central regions moving eastward into Ontario, as well the eastern seaboard later in the week. Watch for a little bit of snow, but nothing too serious, nothing like last week. 
and watch for lake effect snowfall all across the Great Lakes as the big polar vortex moves in. It is a high pressure vortex, so it's going to dry up things, but across open waters, definitely going to bring those flurries in. Overlooking the Atlantic, very large low pressure system here affecting the Atlantic Ocean right now and will be heading eastward into parts of the United Kingdom in the long range forecast, but it's going to brew for the next few days. And for now, high pressure ridge moving in, cold temperatures setting in, and a pretty powerful low is moving eastward through Italy and then into Greece and quickly jots northward into Central Europe later in the week for a snowstorm. So watch for parts of Central Europe and northward. As well, cold temperatures still plummeting across Russia. Big system here forming in the West Pacific. But that's nothing compared to the system that is spinning right now in the open waters of the Pacific Ocean. Just look at the size of this beast. And it, it's not moving in the five-day forecast, guys. It's the same size as the one that's in the Atlantic. Y'all seen the movie Day After Tomorrow? <laughs> Much love to you all and prayers for humanity. Thank you for tuning in. Overlooking Papua New Guinea and parts of the Philippines, watch for heavy rains. And parts of northern Australia as well, watch for cooler conditions throughout the week as the rain moves in. Heat really sticking around more central Australia. You could see some pretty intense thunderstorms. Uh, East Australia and southeastward towards Sydney later in the week. Overlooking South America, not much to talk about except for daily evaporation rains, heavier towards Bolivia and the mountainous regions. And then uh, Africa here, watch for a low pressure system to move in there and affect them for the next five days. This could be quite an event. So this is a flood warning for most of South Africa as uh, the moisture is just going to be falling for the next five days. Flood warnings for Africa, extreme cold warnings for Canada, and along the high pressure convergence line, watch for heavy snows. Looking at pretty big system there in the southern hemisphere. And then, yeah, these massive systems in both the Pacific and the Atlantic. I want to thank you all for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.